What's up guys, this is Rani, welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone. So today I'll be going to start a new series and the series is actually on LangChain. In, 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 in past month actually I have got uh, multiple requests that uh, students are actually looking for some LangChain tutorial. Hence I actually uh, started this new series, okay. So in this series basically we'll be going to... <coughs> uh do the entire deep dive with lang chain and various llm models uh, of course um uh, we uh, we are going to use python actually and if you have any other like recommendation or any other use case or suggestion or uh, probably many of you already started working on some project or some company so uh, during your job or during your training or maybe you guys are uh, maybe some of you are already doing some master so maybe if if if, if there is any project where you actually uh, come across some lang chain use cases please uh, feel free to uh, dm me or drop me a message so that we'll try to include all those things in our tutorial so basically this is going to be a um, kind of practical approach i'm not going to uh, do a uh, like a lot of theory or documentation kind of a thing yes of course while doing the coding um, i will explore the documentation i will show you how to uh, reuse the documentation for various reason but uh, more or less it will be like 90 percent to 95 percent will be completely coding approach and i'll try to actually uh, keep the things very simple and i'll try to align um, every um, like tutorial with respect to some practical um, uh, coding approach or maybe uh, some use case oriented way okay so hence let's start our uh, actual uh, start with our actual slide so yes so if you uh, check here what is langchain so basically langchain uh, is a powerful framework for uh, developing some ai powered uh, application um, with the help of multiple language models so what do you mean by language model so language model means is actually uh, a basic or nearest or very simplest example will be chat gpt so basically uh, chat gpt is a language model uh, developed and maintained by open ai so there are various other language models are available so you can use them as well with langchain to create your ai driven application for example google has palm 2 facebook has llama and and so many other language models are available here okay so i just took a screenshot from this link so if you want to know more about langchain this is the documentation link you can actually explore and feel free to actually start reading it so i will uh, uh, highly recommend all of you guys to actually spend at least five to ten minutes every day if you are learning something new at the initial stage it is actually a good idea uh, to go through the documentation okay so this is the link you can actually go ahead and start doing the your own research okay next thing is actual installation installation is actually very much uh, straightforward and simple so pip install langchain so basically like this and um, with the langchain in in our tutorial we'll be going to use the chat gpt so that is why I use the OpenAI module from Python. And once the installation is done, then we'll be going to set up the API key, okay, from the OpenAI. So basically, let me open my browser and I'll just go here and we have to go to this link, okay, Python docs, and then you'll you have to click on installation. All these installation links are available here. And next thing is actually quick start. Here, if you see, it is saying that we need an API key from OpenAI. Okay, so I'll go here. You will get this page. Okay, I will copy this link as well here uh, from this. Okay, let's save it. Okay, so I have couple of keys are available here already. Let me delete all of them. Okay, and let me delete this as well. Okay, let me create a new key so we'll have an idea. Okay, so create a new secret key. Just I'll give a name test. Okay, done. So this is not the right way of showing everyone my uh, like API key, but trust me, um, I will delete it. But when you are going to do something 
for your company or for your client or for for a any sort of production related activities try to make sure you are using or exporting this key from an environment variable if you don't know how to do that maybe you will uh, you go to our channel and search for other videos maybe uh, some of the videos i have already shown how to actually export that api key okay copy okay so it's done so now what we'll do we'll try to actually start writing our first code okay so let me check what else is there okay nothing else there first code okay so i am using jupyter notebook so maybe make it a little bit bigger okay so first thing is we have to import from llm sorry from langchain dot llms import so open ai okay so now what will happen i'll try to create a uh, llm using this open ai and i will intentionally do a mistake so it is saying that uh, you need an you need this thing right right okay so i just copy it and like this like this and what will happen i will copy and i'll paste it okay then next parameter will be temperature so i'll try to make it little bit uh, less a uh, little bit random okay and then i have to select my model okay so in model will be uh, i'll be going to use the latest model so maybe if i go here here okay uh, settings or maybe rate limits okay so i'll try to use this model maybe okay if you click on c c okay okay so now what will happen what you can do actually with, with this thing so basically we can predict any uh, we can actually predict the answer of any question so if i just do llm dot like predict and after that maybe i'll do a simple thing uh, what is the rgb color code for okay so see i got this thing okay right okay so now my question is actually to all of you uh, or maybe you guys can ask this question to me or maybe yourself yeah definitely i'm not doing live so maybe you can ask this question to yourself that uh, why the hell i'm using uh, this lang chain because i'm doing exactly the same thing whatever chat gpt is doing right so till now we haven't actually done anything special uh, uh, or any 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 problem or ground breaking thing which actually uh, chat gpt is not capable of doing right so basically here i want to just give you a uh, very important thing just try to remember uh, actually i don't want to uh, dig uh, deep inside that theoretical concept but uh, try to remember this thing uh, lang chain is actually combination of three things the first thing is actually your uh, language model like this chat gpt in our case second is a template or prompt template okay and third is your output parser so language model will help you to actually predict or generate the response prompt template is actually help you to uh, structure your prompt or input like or how you are going to actually send the request to the application okay and output parser is actually in my case see i'm getting a couple of new line character or maybe some extra things are there right so output parser is actually going to parse the output and give you the meaningful answer out of it so that you can actually send that uh, answer to another uh, application for different sort of processing right so ultimately the world is actually the combination of multiple integration right 
so that is why these three things are actually the basic building block of lang chain one more thing time your llm or language model uh, prompt template and the output parser so we have actually seen the uh, use of llm now we'll be going to uh, see the use of prompt template what exactly the prompt template is actually and why this prompt template is actually something special with uh, with chat gpt cannot actually solve uh, as a as a standalone kind of a thing right so now actually let me define a list or uh, here right and i'll be going to write some color red blue green pink white or maybe uh, what else black sky blue Mm. brown okay now suppose if i want to actually uh, get this thing get all the color code of this thing using chat gpt it will be a little bit difficult but if you can uh, you can you can actually closely look into this thing uh, this thing this part is actually same right only i need to change this color with every element of this list means it is forming a template right and the template can uh, template structure is actually up to this part is static or constant and this part is only a st uh, string variable right so hence we can actually uh, create a template and after that we can easily use this template to uh, get the answer like this okay so for that we have to create some chains okay so it will be from and from uh why this is not coming cause uh, i need to import the chain but it seems it is not coming uh I'm using tab but strange this is not giving me anything hmm. maybe it will be capital yes it can okay okay let me run this part as well okay now basically this part is actually not required okay so color is there so basically first i will create a template so prompt is going to be copy so from oh sorry from template okay and here I'll be going to write the same thing but a little bit different way. I'll be going to templateify this thing, okay? See. Copy and like this and I'll try to change this thing as a variable, okay? Right? And then I'll be going to create a chain. Chain is going to be this LLM chain and it will accept two parameter. One is LLM means what model it is going to use so my llm is actually this one right this like uh, this this one the second line the llm and i have to use a prompt 
so this prompt is actually going to get the value from this prompt okay done okay and let's see whether i'll be going to get the actual thing so if i do this thing and here i'll be just going to um, do something okay so we'll do chain invoke but before that let's execute this thing so i'm not getting any errors what i'll do i'll be just going to invoke this chain to get our answer but i'll be going to using a for loop so it will be for color in colors so print chain dot invoke and i'll be going to use this color color means every color of this thing and this will be replaced by this thing okay okay let's see uh, okay so this line is not executed so because of that okay see okay perfect so invoke means it is going to give you the input and it is going to give you the output but if you just want to get the input you have to just do run and let's see okay 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 that's it i believe this is uh, quite interesting and going to help you help all of you basically to develop some sort of foundation or intuition uh, towards the uh, towards the future of uh, llm and uh, futuristic ai application right so it's a very uh, uh, interesting domain right now so try to uh, try to actually gather some sort of like uh, motivation because this series will be a little bit lengthy because i'll try to plan uh, this series um, for uh, i'm actually planning this series for long uh, back like maybe for last couple of months but this is the right time so that i will try to upload these videos very frequently and my plan is to actually go a little bit uh, longer with this series because uh, lots of uh, development lots of new uh, practical approach project uh, like ideas are coming so we'll try to actually incorporate all all, all of this thing in this tutorial so basically initial part of this series will be a little bit of like uh, foundation building and after that we'll target a uh, kind of application development okay so without uh, wasting further time i'm just going to conclude this video here but uh, it's a humble request guys please try to uh, subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you should not miss any notification and also if possible try to share our videos with your family and friends whoever you think can some can actually get some benefit out of our videos and last but not least try to put some feedback uh, good or bad doesn't matter try to put some honest feedback so that we'll understand what exactly missing in the video or what could be done in a more better way in the future and also if you find something really cool or interesting in our video please try to also appreciate by some sort of comment so that it will help us to rank in the google algorithm we would like to reach to the bigger audience okay so that's it guys uh, that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day